Okay, we turn our attention to starters now. All right, so in order, as we said earlier, for any system to operate, the battery has to be in very good condition. And you can see here, in order for us to be able to get a true reading on the starter, our battery has to be 75% or more capable. Our starter draw amperage will be much higher than it's supposed to be. It's going to be finding out what kind of amperage draw is developing on this battery cable to the starter solenoid itself. That's what we're going to be clamping around. Do a current draw test, and this one is going to be the actual energy being pulled out of the battery. We connect large leads across the battery. We follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to zero the meter. We connect the amp clamp around the battery ground cable. Because ultimately, all the draw is coming out of that component itself. We make sure all the loads are turned off. We disable the ignition or the fuel system. We crank the engine for 10 to 15 seconds, and we note the voltmeter and amp meter readings. We compare the readings with the manufacturer's specs. The voltage should go lo no lower than 9.6, just like on a battery load test. A V8 around 200 amps, a six cylinder around 150 amps, a four cylinder about 125. Another place that you can clamp, and you can see in the video, I clamped it around the actual positive cable going to the starter itself. That's giving you true readings as well, because that's right at the starter itself. If the voltage is 9.6 and up, but the amperage is higher, we have something stopping or holding back the rotation of the starter. Worn bushings, mechanical blockage, excessive ignition timing, shorted starter motor windings, something stopping that, alt that starter from, from turning. Voltage that's 9.6 and higher, but the amperage is lower, we have high electrical circuit resistance within the, within the vehicle. Voltage of 9.6 and lower, but the current is higher. Amperage draining from the battery. Perform the battery tests. If the battery looks good, go back to 0.1 on this list. If the voltage is less than 9.6, but the current is lower, faulty battery. All right, so a starter amperage test should be performed whenever the starter fails to operate normally or slow in cranking as part of routine electrical system inspection. If the exact specs are not available, the following can be used for testing starter on a vehicle. Just like we said before, a four-cylinder, 150 to 185 amps, a six-cylinder, 160 to 200, an eight-cylinder, 185 to 250. If we have more, just like we said before, binding starter armature as the result of worn bearings, oil could be too thick, high viscosity for the weather conditions, the starter or grounded starter winding cables, tight or seized engine, or high resistance in the starter motor itself. Okay, now we're gonna do starter draw. So our starter is right here. Okay, that's our starter. And we have a heavy battery cable that's attached to it, which is coming off of this lead right here. It goes down. And what we're going to do is we are going to disable the car so it can't start, but it'll crank. So we're going to take this amp clamp, we're going to set it for a thousand, and we're going to clamp it around that battery cable at the starter, and then we're going to disable the car. So the easiest way to disable this is to unplug all four coils, then it'll crank. And the same thing we did to that battery test is what we're going to do with this. We're going to crank it for 15 seconds and we're going to look to see what kind of draw, what kind of amperage the starter is bringing. Clamp this on. Okay, 
we're around it, it was tough. If it's backwards, we're leaving it backwards. Okay, so now I'm gonna disconnect. You can see me disconnect the, the coil. Okay, so you can see all the coils are unplugged. So now it should crank and it'll start. Okay, I'm gonna reposition us so we can watch this as it happens. Okay, so I'm gonna position us here and we're going to crank it for 15 seconds and we're gonna watch the amperage during that time. Okay, you saw roughly 200, almost 300 in the beginning, and then you saw it sit about 145, right? That's a starter draw test. 